or I could just shoot it at the burner over there. <laughs> All right, hello and welcome to our channel. Oh man, I gotta turn that down a little. I have my water bath canner going behind me. I'm canning up some tomato juice and it's the tomato juice that was left over from when I made pizza sauce the other night. So Friday night I started to make pizza sauce and I started with getting the tomato puree ready and then I was just too tired to finish so I ended up finishing it on Saturday. So this tomato juice has been sitting in half gallon sized jars in our refrigerator since Friday and it's Monday afternoon so we're on almost three days of of the tomato juice sitting in the refrigerator so I wanted to get it canned up as soon as I could. So I canned them up in quart sized jars and I'll show you that process now. And this is the tomato juice left over that when I straining some of the liquid off of the puree this is all that juice from that. So I have two half gallon jars so about oh, just over a gallon of tomato juice here that I'm going to boil down a little bit in the pot and then we're going to can up in quart sized jars. The recipe that I'm following is from this book here and it's on page 369. I think there's another one in here too. But um, because I already have the juice and it's been in our, my refrigerator, I'm just gonna go ahead and skip to the part where it says return juice to saucepan and bring to a boil over medium high heat. jars a little bit. I need to add some acid to the jars so I'm going to be adding lemon juice. These are quart sized jars so I'm going to be adding two tablespoons of lemon juice per quart sized jar. Or I could just shoot it at the burner over there. <laughs> I think the uh, this little thingy needs to come out. It's, there we go. Let's try that. <laughs> you can also add salt to the jar. You'd add for a quart size jar, you'd add one teaspoon of salt, but I'm not going to be adding any salt. The only reason why I'm not adding salt is because I'm not 100% sure on what I'm going to be doing with this juice yet. I'll probably turn it into soup. We'll season the soup as we need it. Now this tomato juice was from Friday night. It is Monday afternoon and from what I read online, you know, fresh tomato juice is good in the refrigerator for two to three days. Plus we're cooking it down pretty good. So I've been letting it boil for a while. I like to leave the jars closer to the side of the stove that keeps them nice and warm. All right, now I'm gonna ladle it into the jars, leaving a half of an inch of headspace. This funnel tends to keep the lid of the jar pretty clean, but I'm still going to wipe off any of the excess that I might see on here. So I'm using a clean t-shirt rag and some distilled white vinegar. And I'm just going to go around the rim of the jar. And then we'll take a clean lid and a band and put the band on finger tight. So that's just the tips of our fingers. And that should be good. And that's how it looks. So then we'll go ahead and get it in our water bath canner and then we'll get the rest of them done. So I was able 
to get three quart size jars of tomato juice. So I'm going to now lower the rack into the water bath canner. And I need a lot more water in there, so I'm gonna go get some. There should be enough water. I'm gonna put the lid back on the jar. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna put the lid back on the water bath canner and we're gonna let that come up to a boil. All right, so the water bath canner is boiling now and we're gonna go ahead and set our timer for 40 minutes. And that's to process quart size jars. If they are pint size jars, it's 35 minutes. Timer is going off, so I'm gonna turn that off and then turn the burner off and we will take the lid off of the canner and we're just gonna let the canner cool off a little bit before we take the jars out so I'm gonna set the timer for five minutes or so and let those cool off Timer off okay so the water bath canner Timer is up, and it is time to move the jars to the countertop on a towel. So here they are. Looks pretty good. I have no idea what I'm going to do with those yet, but I will most likely turn them into some sort of tomato-based soup that everybody would eat. So yeah, that'll do it for this quick canning video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. We super appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.